terms of the like driving modes, we don't have uh, driving modes, only one mode. Ivan here and this is the all new Mercedes AMG SL Roadster and this iconic design of the upcoming SL transforms the iconic tradition of the first 300 SL Roadster into this modern day era so the minimalistic and high quality interior was inspired from the 300 SL Roadster and for this new edition of the iconic Roadster, the AMG created a mix of analog geometry and digital technology, which they call Hyper Analog. A very good example of this is the new fully digital instrument cluster, which is integrated into the three dimensional visor, which is like a cover for that digital cluster. So back in 19, 89, the SLR129 was the last roadster of the SL series which had 2 plus 2 seating configuration and this new iteration will have the same 2 plus 2 seats. The rear seats can increase everyday usability and offer space for people up to 1.5 meters tall and if the extra seating is not needed it can be used as an additional storage space to accommodate golf bag or your travel suitcases. So the center console dominates the space between the driver and the front passenger. You can see a huge middle tunnel and you can see the new galvanized turbine air vents. They are inspired by the aviation. So the instrument panel is 12.3 inch LCD screen and the middle central screen is 11.9 inch which is multimedia touch screen in portrait format. To avoid the reflections caused by the sun when you are driving with the top down, the screen can be adjusted electrically in the more vertical position and its portrait format offers clear advantage, especially for the navigation, as well as more space ergonomically and the touchscreen floats between the two central turbine air vents as a digital contrast to emotive design elements. The avant-garde seat design of the new SL serves to further develop the typical Mercedes sculptural seat design in a sporty way. This makes the seats appear lighter and have less volume. The headrests are integrated into the backrest and here you can see also the new AMG performance steering wheel. The whole MBUX system is from the new S-Class but the system has been extensively supplemented or replaced by the AMG specific content and views. We will find the menu items such as the performance or track pace and this will emphasize the sporty character. The high quality Burmester loudspeakers are in real metal. Perforation pattern also stands out visually and is integrated into the doors. Alright guys, so that's the first look at the all new Mercedes AMG SL. Let me know how you like this interior. To me personally, this is a really awesome combination of the analog and also the new digital technology. Alright guys, now let's take a look at some classic cars. So this is Mercedes-Benz SL 300 racing sports car from 1952. After the Second World War, the Mercedes-Benz relaunched into international motorsport with the 300 SL racing sports car W194 and in 1952 the vehicle was successful from the outset. The 1-3 victory at the Grand Prix of Bern in Switzerland, 1-2 finishes at the 24 hours of Le Mans in France and at the Carrera Panamericana in Mexico as well as at the top of four positions in the Nürburgring Jubilee Grand Prix. And the vehicle shown here is the world's oldest existing Mercedes-Benz SL with specific chassis number. And this vehicle has continuously formed part of the works collection since 1952. And this engine is inline six-cylinder 3.0 liter with the output of 125 kilowatts that's 170 horsepower and the top speed is 240 kilometers per hour and that's 149 miles per hour. Next we have Mercedes-Benz 300 SL Coupe from 1957. The combination of design and technology made the 300 SL launch in New York in February 19. 
54, the dream sports car of its time, the car which was also highly successful in motorsport, was given various almost poetical nicknames due to its top hinge doors, besides the German Flugelturer, it was known as the Galwing or Papillon butterfly. However, the doors were not an aesthetic and in themselves, but actually technically necessary. This was because the tubular roll cage was so high at the seals that conventional door constructions were simply not possible. And this is W198 from the year 1957, inline 6-cylinder as well, 3.0 liter, and the output is higher now, 158 kilowatts, that's 215 horsepower, at 5800 rpms, and the top speed was up to 260 kilometers per hour, and that's 161 miles per hour, and this is the Mercedes-Benz 280 SL from 1968, this was unveiled at the 1963 Geneva Motor Show. It was designed as a comfortable high-performance two-seater touring car. And this car has inline six-cylinder engine, 2.8 liters, 170 horsepower, and top speed 200 km per hour. That's 124 miles per hour. And this is the Mercedes-Benz 500 SL from 1982. And this model celebrated its premiere exactly 50 years ago in the spring of 1971. The car was powered by an 8-cylinder engine and 3-engine variants would soon be available. This kind of choice was novelty in the SL history at the time. V8 engine, 5.0 liter, 240 horsepower and 220 km per hour was the top speed. That's 136 miles per hour. And this is the 230 SL Rally edition from 1964, inline 6-cylinder engine, 2.3 liter, 150 horsepower and 200 km per hour was the top speed. And this is the 500 SL Rally from 1981, 5.0 liter V8 engine producing 300 horsepower and top speed 240 km per hour. And this is the SL73 AMG from 1999 with V12 engine, 7.3 liters, producing 525 horsepower, top speed 307 km per hour. And this is the SL63 AMG, the safety car from 2008. The Mercedes-Benz has been providing the safety cars for the Formula 1 World Championship races since the 1996, and Bert Melander has been driving them since 2000. A 6.2 liter V8 engine, producing 525 horsepower, and the top speed was limited to 250 km per hour or 155 miles per hour. And now let's take a look at the SL55 AMG from 2005, and let's go for a drive. Alright guys, so here we have now already modern classic, the SL55, with a beautiful hardtop, and this is the V8 model with compressor. Today we are experiencing the generations of the SL, to see how it is like to experience the predecessor of the SL which will be released as the new generation after 10 years. So as you can see we have the SL55 AMG version here and this one is really so-called brutal car for this age today is 20 years ago. So this car was released in 2001 and this particular car in 2005 so 16 years ago and 20 years ago and it's really already proving to be a legendary car you can see these legendary AMG wheels a V8 compressor here and in the rear we can find the classic leather st seats and steering wheel as you can see here and if you want to open the boot just press here it will open automatically electronically but then you need to release this uh, mechanically, like this. And then you have your luggage room. So I have here my backpack. And you can put some more stuff here, like several of these backpacks and uh, some trolley bags, duffel bags. So for, for this purpose, as a weekend car, uh, I think it has enough large uh, of a boot. So really, really nice. Introduced 
20 years ago in 2001 and uh, yeah this has a V8 engine 5.5 liter so now let's continue <laughs> we had a V8 model here and yeah very nice cars today driving around so this model with 5.5 liter V8 was actually the fastest Mercedes at the time two years after this car was released the SLR which was then the fastest so um, pretty fast car in the end and this has really <laughs> like a muscular sound so really uh, great experience and thanks for having me here today at the classic event at Center of Excellence Modern Classic we echo because it's already 20 years ago this particular example was built in uh, 2005 so not that long ago we can say right it was 16 and 15 years ago uh, it's completely different than what we are used to now because yeah this car is uh, really really different to what you can uh, find in the, in the modern cars we have uh, the v8 5.5 liter 517 horsepower this is r230 uh, uh, generation uh, of the sl we have also option to shift manual in this car Right now I'm in third gear. Second gear is more loud. It has different sound than the, than the modern cars. So yeah, this car is uh, really something else. And I didn't thought that uh, it would be as brutal as it is. For modern car, this is uh, I would say quite brutal. Modern classic, we can say. Pretty wild this car. I really like this. <laughs> but it's, it's very enjoyable. Wow. It's pretty crazy. This 20 years ago uh, must has been like absolutely crazy. In terms of the like driving modes, we don't have uh, driving modes. In fact, then you have only one mode. No comfort, sport, uh, race mode. It has this brutal rumble to it, which is uh, which is very nice. The point also of the of today's adventure is that uh, you know there will be a new SL introduced, so now we can experience what it was like uh, to drive the predecessor uh, pre the previous models uh, of the SL I don't see the speed limit here like in modern cars it doesn't read the signs you need to like remember where are you <laughs> put back uh, the roof up so we can to see how it how it looks and how it feels Nice. All right, guys. So to put down roof, you need to press this part here towards the rear, and it will now automatically open. And it's very fast in, in 16 seconds. <laughs> Let's slow down a little bit and try it again. guys so that's it for this video i hope you enjoy this future classics and modern classic sl55 amg and i will see you in the next video give it a like if you enjoyed it comment down below which model is your favorite amg and what do you think about this model this sl55 and uh, turn on all notifications so you are notified for all new videos guys i will see you soon in the upcoming videos so thank you very much for watching and have a beautiful day